Dude, I have I have ten pills. Why can't I use them anymore? What the hell? Yeah, it just unequipped them. What what what's with this bug? For you. There we go. A bunch of rags and flesh. Okay, so these guys are not worth fighting. No, no, sorry. No, 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 no. We lost way more than we should have. We got nothing in return. Well, XP. I guess we got XP, right? We got XP. And that's perfect. So you have seven. If I give you this. Eight. I like that. Um, how do we want to do this? I can give you four here. Kinda start hurting for uh Yeah, let's go like so. Yeah. Yeah, let's give it this. There we go. That should help you a bit. Not too much, but a bit. You didn't level, you leveled. Let's give you the int as well. And we know we want... We want some... Uh, what was it? Armor modding? I think the armor modding, right? This could also be nice. But you're kind of hurting on the damage, on the hit chance, I mean. So we could give you like maybe this one and this one. Also survival. So let's give you one survival. And then leave you for now. Yeah. Anyone else? You leveled as well. No, you didn't level. Okay. Okay then. It's not too bad. Uh, anything else here? Anything at all? Oh, so so random encounters aren't exactly uh, barren of loot. No. Wow. Okay, well, maybe because maybe because these enemies were uh, maybe maybe it's because these enemies weren't exactly carrying stuff on them, and the game is like, well, you know what? Since they didn't carry any ammo, let's give you a trunk of ammo, you know, because you fought them. So thank you, game. Thank you very much. Okay, you are pretty banged up. Yeah. Um, I can't save. How many repair kits do we have? Used to remove the effects of drug withdrawal. So if you were to use drugs in combat, I mean in boss fights or stuff, I guess we're gonna get drug withdrawal? But it doesn't say, I think it's the... It doesn't say. It doesn't say anything in the description of the drug. But if this exists, then of course... Of course it has to be in the game. Drug withdrawal, okay. Uh, I was looking at repair kits, so you can use some repair kits on the... Also, let's change it like so. How much would you repair? Um, did you not want to repair it? What's going on? So... Remount repair, combat... Hmm. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can encounter random, we can get random encounters right near the cities. I did not know that. I did not know that. Because it's right, right near the uh, bazaar, right? I think. Laser energy weapons were deployed with many US army units. Many examples survive to the present day. there something oh I can't I can't change the map view what the hell so you can't change the view in the map uh, when you're on the map with the Kodiak okay then did not know that let's save before I do anything stupid so this is the bazaar to the right, right? Oh, I see a random encounter. O'Leary family. A gaunt man in an overloaded old truck stares at you as you approach. His gaunt family sits behind him. Howdy. him. Name's Liked. We say you're them rangers, the saviors of the refugees. Boy, are we glad to see you. In fact, was gonna donate this at your HQ. Oh my God! CO Springs, but you're here, so here you go. What the hell? Anyway, wow, that was. We ain't ate in a while. Was hoping we could trade you some things for money to eat. He rummages behind his seat and then hands you a duffel. Wow! So we just unlocked a, a part for the web, but this is a random encounter. So random encounters unlock parts for the. Okay for the Kodiak. You refugees haven't been given a fair shake. We're going to take care of you. We're going to take care of you. Well, that's good to hear, Rangers. Yeah. Thank you. We'll spread the word in the camps. I'm not gonna steal. Uh, hard things out east. Worse every day. Haven't seen a marshal out our way for over two years. It's like the Patriarch abandoned us. Um, sure, let's trade. Oh, thank you. It ain't much. But it's honest work. Mm, what do you sell, Commando Helmet? Critical ch Oh my god. I am gonna bu What the hell is this? I'm sorry. What's this? 1000? <laughs> oh my lord. Look at it. Look at it! This and this. So this is 400 and this is 1000. So we need... We need about a thousand scrap. We need about a thousand scrap. I'm not gonna let this pass by, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. Critical chance on our... Well... Because this... Here's the thing. She has that helmet with plus one to any, everything, right? Yeah. Plus one. Wait. This is kind of weird. Why is <laughs> why is just the uh, is it just the coordination plus one to the all, all of the things should be uh, should be green. All of the. It. Yeah. Even look at the commando helmet. So the commando helmet says. It gives more crit chance, it gives more armor, and it gives less coordination. So is the Ranger General's hat bugged? The text, is it bugged? Is, is, that, is Does it just give coordination? I think it does. I think it just gives coordination. Wow. Okay, well first of all, let's sell all our junk. So all the junk must go. 
All the junk. Do you your junk? <laughs> and we have enough for this. There we go. Wow. That's something. Um So 400, right? 400. What else can we sell? 16 16, 9, yeah, wow, these are kind of crap 3 I can't sort them So can I buy this now? I can. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So let's let's check it out. So her helmet should give her one to all of these, right? All of these things. So if I were to equip this other thing. I have no idea what, what's happening here. No idea whatsoever. What the hell is going on? It's not even giving coordination. What? What? Hmm. What's wrong with this hat? Um. What's wrong with that hat? How? How? Let's check you. So you have two, three, six, one. Two, three, six, one, four. Okay. And with this, we're gonna have two, three, six, one, four. What the balls? This was just a okay. This was a useless thing, I, th I guess. Yeah, this is just for appearance, so it's not. It doesn't count. Okay then. Uh, hard ass and armor. Requires strength. Is it... Is it better for you? It's a bit better. Less mechanics though. How about you? Hmm. And mechanics does what? More damage to... Wow, that's a huge jump. Repair kit effectiveness. 6, 9, 12, 5. 6, 9, 12, 5. And then 18. I think it's 15, right? Yeah, it's a bug. Okay. That's a bug. Um, okay, let me equip the sniper. Oh my god, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> oh boy, where is it? Where is it? Deathlands. Wow. There you go. There you go. Well, how are your stats? How is your crit chance? 39%. Incredible. With the helmet, right? Sneak attack, evasion, initiative, quick slot, leadership, experience points. So it does give, it does give charisma, right? Look at the stats change. I think maybe just the text is bugged. Maybe just the text. Yeah, I, 
think there's the Texas bug. Okay, so save. Let's move on. Anything here? Anything here? I don't see anything. Um, I kind of want to go to the bazaar. See what's there before I uh, venture forth. So where was the bazaar? Oh, right here. I missed it. I missed it. Is it on fire? Oh no, it's just the... Uh... That's just how it looks. A pre-war mall and once the headquarters of the of the Savage Monster Army. Now an indoor market and regional trading hub. Watch, watch that I, I spent 1000 on the on the sniper. And then we're gonna find here a, a, a better sniper and cheaper. Watch, just watch. Also, I'm kind of poor. I'm kind of poor to be here. It's more and more tempting to just uh, go back to base and um, change one of our rangers to be full on... Um, to have that, there's a special perk. There's a perk for the um, to get gold in uh, junk items. You know, you get gold. Those are, those are 500 gold apiece. I assure apiece. you, your bizarre shopping experience is completely safe. You may have folks fooled, Amanda, but not me. I know something is fishy here, and I'm leaving. Shame. Ah, over here, friends. Welcome. A cylinder choke. Cone angle, huh? Ananda Rabid Rabin Dranath. Before you stands a man dressed in impeccable in an impeccably clean, well maintained suit. He bows with a he was with a flourish as you approach, and without pause starts rattling off a practiced spiel. Salutations and assorted felicitations. Find the Welcome way. Welcome to the bazaar, the marketplace of the unusual. I have not seen you here before. Know this, the bazaar can be found underneath our feet, buried by layers of snow. Access is restricted to the lucky few who possess an entrance pass. You can purchase an entrance pass at the door from our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army. Or, if you lack the funds, simply find an established merchant to vouch for you. Uh, why was that woman leaving? Oh, a misunderstanding, I assure you. There have been some troubles in the bazaar of late. But nothing our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army, can't resolve. I assure you. Inside the bazaar awaits a satisfying and secure shopping experience. Up the ramp, you'll find the door to the bazaar, covered by a vehicle. My name is Ananda Rabindranath, Mannerite missionary, merchant, and your humble servant. I was assigned to answer any questions you may have. Felicitations. Um... Okay, that's the quest. Uh, can we speak more about getting into the ba no well yeah more getting into the bazaar it is simple to get inside you need an entrance pass you can purchase one at the door or find an, an established, established bazaar, bazaar merchant. merchant to vouch for you we're gonna do that because I'm I'm dirt poor so um, who could vouch for us any bazaar merchant of course they are usually found inside the bazaar not out here in the encampment behind me you could find some hopefuls looking to get in. Perhaps if you can aid them, they can aid you. Could you vouch for us? Would that I could. But we are limited in how often we can vouch for outsiders. Um... In theory, could we use someone else's pass? In theory, yes. 
<laughs> but those of us who have a past tend to safeguard it with our lives. So it is highly unlikely you would get to use another person's past. Well, I can think of a few uh, ways to do that. I have heard of people giving their entrance passes to family members. Perhaps you have a rich uncle. Occasionally people disappear in the nearby ruins and strangers acquire their pass. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I don't need to say this behavior is most untrustworthy and impolite. Okay. Uh, we want to talk about something else. I uh, can only hope I will have the answers you seek. This is an impressive suit. Ah, I thank you. It is a pleasure to meet people of taste, a true rarity in these uncivilized lands. I endeavored to provide the teachings of Mr. Manners to those inside the bazaar. Alas, they seem to prefer that I spread the good word out here instead. A folly, I think. But who am I to question our gracious hosts? Uh, we could use... Kesa 6. We could use a tailor back at our HQ. Could we convince you to join us? You do seem like people of refined taste, without a doubt. But a man of class does not abandon his employer at an inopportune moment. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but this is a dangerous time for the bazaar. Friends, go inside. Speak to Mr. Jacob Martin, or as others call him, Flab. When the bazaar is safe again, my conscience will be clear, and I will be most pleased to join you. Okay. We still have the kisses. We have so oh no. Have you anything for sale? Naturally, I have a variety of goods for sale that could suit your needs. But let's not barter out here in the cold. Join me in the warmth and security of our encampment. This way, friends. Hmm. Okay, so I can't talk to him while he's moving. Uh, what happened to the girl? Is she outside, maybe? Maybe she can tell us something. Hmm. In the years before the apocalypse, artificial intelligence AI had been integrated into military control systems of the United States and the USSR. The USSR? What the? Oh, I think this is uh, an alternate, alternate history universe. So the USSR didn't dissolve. Um, she's, she isn't on the map anywhere. No, she's not. Right? Yeah. Okay, so she's not here. Or wherever she could be. I, I, I don't know where she could be. What was this? Oh, it's just glowing. Okay. No, nothing important. So, how can we get hold of that girl? Maybe she can tell us some stuff that this guy doesn't want to tell us. People who tell the measures of the bazaar that it's actually spelled bazaar only ever do that once. <laughs> oh, the measures seem kind of uh, tr uh, triggery. Bazaar. Bazaar. Oh, you're pretty huge to the north. Okay, let's not uh, let's not go there just yet. Anything here? Oh yeah, there it is. How are you? Are you still patched up? No. 
I don't see you being uh, damaged, so I guess you're fine. If civilization collapses, all of Colorado Springs will look like this. Come on, it's not that bad, Lucia. It's not that bad. Cabbage patch kit? A collectible doll with a large plastic head and a body made of soft fabric, okay? Codes of manners. Select readings from the book of nauseatingly correct manners. Human teeth. From willing patients. I bet they're from willing patients. Yeah. The book of nauseatingly correct manners. Chapter 1. On the proper use of etiquette. It is a common misconception that etiquette exists as a means of affirming one's social status at the expense of the uninitiated. That is... It serves as a barrier to keep the uncivilized apart from their betters. Of course, nothing could be further from the truth. Etiquette and proper manners are the glue that binds civilized society together. And it is the duty of civilized persons to educate the less fortunate for the betterment of all. Proper etiquette, gentle reader, is the balm that soothes the savage beast. Okay. Sleeping bags. Sleeping bags provide a space efficient, a space efficient way for hopefuls to bide their time in the camp while they earn their way into the bazaar. Okay. Um, the Great Gorn. That seems. Let's talk to him more. Let's uh, finish his dialogues. So we have more questions. And I will endeavor to supply more answers. Um, you say you're a Mannerite. Aren't though, aren't most Mannerites settled out west? Ah, true cosmopolites, I see. Cosmopolites. Indeed, a Mannerite is one of the rare few fortunate enough to operate under the auspice of Mr. Manners, proponent of good behavior in these ugly times. Most of us reside in Angel Oracle, but I chose to travel and spread the word. We Mannerites believe that poise is only second to godliness. To live is to comport oneself with exquisite grace. If you're curious, I'd be more than happy to supply a copy of our holiest scripture, the Book of Nauseatingly Correct Manners. Um, can we... Can we have a copy of that book you mentioned? May it help you as much as it did me, and find your path to a life of civility. With a flourish, she presents you with a copy of the book of knowledge in correct manners, a thick volume of impeccable penmanship, extensi extensive footnotes, and recipes on how best to serve the uncouth. Can you tell us anything, anything else about this area? Hmm, of course. Our immediate environs are a safe area, protected by the monster army. Wander outside these confines, and safety is not guaranteed. I can't tell you more. As I've never ventured out there myself. Um, who is the Monster Army? They are the organization in charge of the bazaar. I've heard tales that once they were truly a monstrous gang, spreading fear all throughout Colorado. I'm happy to tell you that their current incarnation is much more sophisticated and civilized, though they have a ways to go. They are led by Mr. Jacob Martin, colloquially known as Flab the Inhaler, a man who has truly embraced his position and leads this place with panache. I do wish he had a better tailor, though. You can find him inside the bazaar proper, as he rarely ventures outside. Okay, well, let me see. They are the uh, organization in charge of the bazaar. I've heard tales that once they were truly more sophisticated. a monstrous gang. They are okay. led by Mr. Jacob Martin, uh, we'll colloquially be, known wait. as we'll Flab be back later. the Inhaler. Have an exquisite day. Wait. Felicitations. Okay, I thought that we couldn't do the kiss ass. We're looking for the people who've been smuggling refugees into Colorado Springs. Do you know where they are? It is common wisdom to keep one's mouth shut when one lacks courteous things to say. Truly, I find the very idea of smuggling people revolting. With that said, if I were a less discreet person, I'd suggest that you drive out to the old parking garage down the road to the north. Who knows? You may find your answers there. Okay then. Have an exquisite um, day. Let's look at 